Well, without boring you with the whole weather forecast, we got more storms coming in. Gives me a chance to talk to you about a couple, quick th couple things. I'm going to try to squeeze this into my five or ten minutes today. But I had a couple things I want to talk to you about. First, I went back this morning and I was looking through some of my uh, videos sitting here. And uh, I've got to say, I think I've got this down. It's not the best quality, but it's consistent. It's okay. And it's consistent. I went back and I was looking, man, some of them were dark, some of them just thought it was changing in the video. You know, it'd go from uh, light to dark and back and, and uh, just no consistency. And at least with this setup, I've got consistency and okay on the video. For not much money. I didn't spend an arm and a leg to get to this level. So I'm happy about that. That's number one I wanted to mention. Uh, and I'll mention something else in, in, uh, in a few minutes. But first, look what I found. I was out working out last night. I went out in the shed and I, I uh, used that bike uh, ski apparatus, whatever you want to call it, exercise apparatus. And I ran across, and I, I wanted to do this in front of you instead of getting into it. But I ran across another camera. <laughs> and I've had this for quite a while. And, I, you know, I've had it so long I can't tell you. I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember what I used it for. I don't remember any of that stuff. The one thing I did remember is you'll notice a little hole right there. little hole up here. Uh, a buddy of mine uh, drilled a hole in this, took it apart, drilled a hole in it, and put a, a jack, which I'll have to see if I've got a mic to use it with. I'm sure I did. Put a jack in there so it could be used for an external mic. And I guess he basically connected the internal mic wires to the jack so that we I'd have an external mic. I don't know if it works or not. But it, it looks kind of cool. Uh, it says something about, I guess it plays MP3 music. This is old now. And I'm pretty sure I picked it, you know, it was probably in plastic wrap or something. I picked it up at a Walmart or a... Uh, um, Walgreens or something like that. Can't say what I had to use for it for. It says it's got a stabilizer. Uh, 8 megapixel camera. Um, and a couple other little things. It only does 720. New batteries. Let's put some new batteries in it. Oh! <laughs> it's coming on! Look, look at that. Little tiny screen. Doesn't flip around or anything. All right, I'm gonna test this out. Play. Well, let's see how this works. Got a little mic. It's funny. Uh, I had some mics for like uh, digital voice recorders and stuff like that. They were too big, but the uh, little mic from the drift camera worked. See? Okay, so I tested uh, tested the little camera out. <laughs> Obviously, it's not something I would ever use. I, well, going through the bag that I had it in, I did discover, yeah, I bought it in, at Walmart in 2008. So... I mentioned earlier that I wanted to talk to you about a couple things, one of them being uh, that I'm happy now. I'm happy with the quality and consistency that this camcorder and the LED light is giving me when I'm sitting here talking to you because what a difference it was. It is. The other thing I want to talk to you about is I'm watching this one daily vlogger you know, way up there, million plus subscribers, that kind of things. Uh, his videos, you know, every one of them is hundreds of thousands to over a million that people watch. So, he, he buys stuff all the time, expensive stuff all the time, and a lot of it's like spur of the moment, you know, and just buys. And that's fine. Um, so he decides he's going he's gonna to start riding a motorcycle. 
So he goes on, he buys a motorcycle, and within a day, he's, he's, found, he's found somebody, one of his followers, he's got a lot of them, one of his followers, this experienced rider, and it's going to teach him to ride. So they find a secluded area, he, he learns how to ride, uh, and, you know, within three-day period, he's out on the road and out on the highway, and he's riding and doing this. And maybe that's not so bad. I mean, I, I sort of did very similar when I first started riding a motorcycle. Uh, not in a big city with tons of traffic and everything, but I, I, I started it pretty quick. I was in the military, and it was my main form of transportation, my only transportation, so I did that. So I can't fault him for being excited, getting a new toy, and going out riding. Now he did ride, he did buy a pretty big bike, and you know, some people that might be a plus, some people it's a real negative. In his case, it seems so far to be a negative. So, I'm watching him today, and he's wrecked the bike. Didn't get hurt, or he did get hurt, but a minor injury. And a lot of people probably would do this, especially if they were used to making videos and then got on a bike. But even when he was in store buying the, the uh, bike, he had the helmet he bought. They outfitted it, the helmet with motor vlogging equipment. So he right away he knew he was going to motor vlog. And here he is. His body's not used to the bike. His mind's not used to riding a motorcycle. And he's going to, on top of everything else that goes on around when you're riding a motorcycle, he's going to motor vlog. I, you know, I don't want to use words like stupid or anything like that. I'm sure in hindsight, he'll think, he'll realize, because he didn't mention in the video, but he'll realize that on top of doing everything else that it takes to go from driving a car to a motorcycle, the last thing you want to be doing is talking into a camera and having any additional distractions. You know, I sort of equate it to a 16-year-old's got his first car, first time he's out driving by himself, and, you know, he's going to get in his car, he's got his new license, he's got his new car, and he invites three buddies along, and they're all talking, and he's got music jacked up, and he's texting, and he's driving along, and talking to his buddies, and listening to loud stereo, and texting, and yeah, something's going to give. <laughs> you know, he's not ready for that. There's too many new things going on. Even experienced riders, like most of you guys, or all of you guys and me, even experienced riders, I don't know for sure about you guys, but me, uh, if I'm on a road, like that road that I was on the other day that said, uh, beware of gravel, and there's real sharp turns and everything else, the last thing I'm going to be doing is talking into a camera while I'm negotiating, basically, obstacles that I don't negotiate every single day. So what's the good there? Well, I'll tell you what the good is. As I said, this guy's got a million plus subscribers. Hundreds of thousands of people watch his videos. And it's basically a pretty young audience. So I'm sure the fact that he's getting a motorcycle and he's out there riding will be influential on them saying, you know, I'd like to do that. It looks like fun. Plus your lane split, which by the way, he's lane splitting the second day he's on a motorcycle. Oh well, and so the good is that them seeing him wrecking and hurting himself, maybe they'll take out of it that, man, I need to spend a little bit more time learning, and I for sure am not going to strap a ca camera to my helmet and start talking into a mic while I'm riding a motorcycle for the first time. <laughs> so anyways, your thoughts. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Thank you very much for visiting me. Be strong, be happy, be a good neighbor. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.